How cute is this crate? I took it from this to this using the decoupage method. Welcome to my channel, Decoupage DIY with Jo Marie Domino. And this is another Dollar Tree item I found that's easy to decoupage and create a fun project just to you. Plus, I have another bonus project at the end, but we're gonna start with the crate. This is the napkin that I chose to put onto the crate. I'm only going to be using the top layer. I already re removed the back plies. Now, to remove this chuck, I'm going to be doing like a rough deckled edge because I want it to look vintage. I don't want it to look like it's new. And how I'm going to do that is with a water brush. This is a water brush. It has a little tube that holds water and the brush at the end is where the water comes through. And let me show you how that's done. You're basically going to trace around the chuck with the, uh, with the brush and start to pull it apart like that. And by doing this, you can see that the water in the brush is creating this really nice deckled edge. Now, you don't have to use a water brush like this. Um, you can take just a small paintbrush and dip it into water like this and just continue to go around the truck until you have all that you want. And see, it's creating a, let me get that there. It's creating a really nice deckel. So when I put it on, it's going to look almost like it was torn off the crate. Okay, a little bit more. Here. I love this water brush though. I have to say, um, since I got this water brush, um, it's really been a changer for me with decoupage. So there we go. And that's what it looks like. It looks like it's got a nice rough deckled edge. Now we're gonna put it onto the crate. I don't even have to wash the crate. Um, I don't have to paint the crate. It already comes clean. So I'm just gonna put the Mod Podge, the decoupage glue right on top and place my napkin on top of that, okay? There we go. Okay, now I'm using matte Mod Podge. I do all of my projects with matte because matte doesn't have any kind of shine. And I like that because I take pictures of just about everything I make. And after I take the pictures, well, then I choose my finish. Then I decide if I want it uh, glossy or if I want it satin. Okay, I know a lot of you asked me that and I just wanted to tell you um, why I use the matte. Okay, so we're gonna take our truck. We're gonna place it down like that. I'm just gonna use my fingers a little bit to smooth it out. Now I have a piece of saran wrap. I'm gonna put that on top. Now the saran wrap protects the napkin because the napkin is wet so I can smooth it out. Now there are these little grooves in this crate. I'm just gonna run my fingernail down like that just to make sure that the napkin goes into the, um, into the crate like that. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, that's really nice. Look how cute that is. And see what I mean by the rough edge? It makes it look like it's torn, it makes it look like it's been around. Now, I have another little um, decoration I'm going to do on this side of the crate. But let's just give this a minute to dry. The front of the crate is just about dry now, so I'm going to move on to this side. So when I was deciding what to do on the side, I went right to the napkin and the napkin had this really nice border on it. I thought, oh, that really goes nicely. So I decided I would put a piece here and I would put a piece here like that. And again, I deckled the edge just like I did before when I was taking out the truck. And we're gonna do the same thing now. We're going to take the piece of napkin, that nice border, I'm gonna lay it down and we're just going to take our water brush and just put it on there and cut it to the size we want. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the top, lay it down. Again, we're not looking for perfection. We want it to look rough. We want it to look like it's used and holds all kinds of pumpkins. Okay, so we'll take them off and now we're gonna glue them on with Mod Podge. Here's my brush. I wrapped it in saran wrap um, so the brush wouldn't get dry. It works good. Okay. So we'll put some up here on top, like that. 
Okay, and we'll take our little piece of napkin. Just gonna lay it down there right on top. I'm just gonna smooth it with my finger. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. Like that. And we'll take the other piece and we're gonna lay it down on the bottom. Just like that. So here, you can take a look. That's the side. And that's the front. Very, very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit more and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what I put inside this crate. My crate is all done now. So to finish it off and to make it a really pretty cute autumn decor, I found some of these pumpkins at the Dollar Tree and I got some of these at Hobby Lobby and I just put them inside like that and I can just take this and sit it down on a table like that. It's just, again, it's just a really nice piece of decor. Now, I did another crate like this one. Oh, it's a little different. It has the open slats. This is the napkin that I use. And I found for this one, it would be really nice to put coasters in it. Here's one of the coasters. I got this also from a paper napkin. And I get my napkins from Vippy's Designs. And before I forget, I do have a video where I show you how you can decoupage um, coasters. And I use the coasters, the MDF from Bippy's Designs also. Okay, on to our bonus project. I was working with one of Dollar Tree's foam pumpkins. I really like to work with these and decoupage them. So I was in my studio and I'm fooling around with this project and I didn't like the way it was turning out. So I decided I had to start all over again. And I know this only costs a dollar and I guess I could just throw it away, but I saw this project on, I think it was on Pinterest, and it was a very, very clever way to hide one of these Dollar Tree pumpkins. And I thought, well, if you can use it just to decorate these pumpkins, I can use it to hide um, this pumpkin that I didn't like the way it was coming out. And that is to use fabric. So you cut fabric into strips like this. I took the pumpkin and I put a hole on the top and a hole on the bottom, and it's very simple. You take the fabric, you put one piece in the top hole, you bring it down and put the other end in the bottom. Then you take another piece. Now this is the way I did it. This isn't the way they did it. Um, I actually left a little space between the two pieces like that. And again, and then you run it down, put it into the bottom. And then I took another piece and I filled that part in with another piece of fabric. And the reason I did that was the first one I did, um, all the pieces started curving too much in one direction, almost like a pinwheel. And then I just tucked it in like that. And you can see how this pumpkin is going to be covered. All right, I'm all done with the pumpkin. I put the fabric all the way around so you can see the pumpkin I was working on. And actually, if you do these, any of the Dollar Tree pumpkins you can use, you can't tell that they're a Dollar Tree pumpkin. Okay, so to finish it off, I found a branch outside and I could just stick that in there like that. And I did a nice little floral and that can be also attached right to the top of the pumpkin like that. It looks very nice for fall. Now, on to one other thing I want to talk about, which is this farmer's market calendar. Um, I know it's very hard to get. My sister found one. I was very, very lucky. But I was in the Dollar Tree, and I ran into this woman, and she was very upset. She couldn't find this calendar. I had just bought this calendar, and I had it at home. I said to her, and I pulled it out, I said, this is another good calendar that the Dollar Tree has. And when you look inside... There are some really, really cute farm animals in here. Those pigs, they're so cute. 
the chicken. I love this chicken. You can make a sign out of this, and if you do any kind of stenciling, you could put the word welcome or our home right in the middle of the chicken. So when you go to the Dollar Tree, take a look at all the different calendars they have. You can see all the different pictures on the back and see if there are other calendars with pictures that you can also use for your projects. I'm having so much fun looking for things I can decoupage at the Dollar Tree, like this crate. I also try to find things at Target, thrift stores. I'm always keeping my eye out for things that I can decoupage. And I don't want you to miss any of my finds or any of my projects. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. Hit the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And please share my videos with your crafting friends. And I love reading your comments. I want to thank Vippy's Designs for the beautiful napkins they give me for my videos. Please go to their website, www.vippies.com. I want to give a huge thanks to my video guy, Art. He does a really awesome job. Thank you for watching my video.